Welcome to the Real News Network. I'm Gregory Wilbert, joining you from Quito, Ecuador. President Donald Trump held a speech in Harrisburg, Pennsylvania today, where he addressed thousands of truck drivers during his, and during his speech, Trump laid out his arguments for why tax reform uh, would be a good thing for workers such as the truck drivers in his audience. Here's what he said. We will totally eliminate the penalty on returning future earnings back to the United States, and we will impose a one-time low tax on money currently parked overseas so it can be brought back home to America where it belongs and where it can do its job. My Council of Economic Advisors estimates that this change, along with a lower tax rate, would likely give the typical American household a $4,000 pay raise. Joining me to examine Trump's latest arguments uh, for tax reform is Dean Baker. Dean is the co-director of the Center for Economic and Policy Research. Good to have you back, Dean. Thanks for having me on. So let's delve right into Trump's main claim. He says that a typical American household would get a $4,000 raise. What's the fact checked on this claim? Would this be possible under the tax plan as we know it so far? This is an incredible stretch, and I'm being generous to call it that as just as opposed to not right fantasy. Uh, trying to tell the story that you're going to have this huge surge in growth, which is is what they're claiming. I mean, this is where you get the raise that there'll be this big surge in investment, huge surge in growth, and that will have a payoff, and that we're going to be more productive, and therefore workers will get this huge tax, uh, huge wage increase. It, there's basically no evidence to support that. Um, we we have a lot of research of the impact on taxes on investment. Most show it has little impact. Um, we've actually done this experiment. Uh, we had a big cut in taxes. Well, we had overall cut in taxes under both George W. Bush and Ronald Reagan, but also under Ronald Reagan, there's a big cut in the corporate tax rate. We went from a 50% corporate tax rate to the current 35%. Investment was actually very low in the late 80s. I'm not going to say that was all because of his tax cut. I wouldn't say it necessarily slowed investment, but you're very hard pressed to make the case that it sped it up. So this idea that he's going to have his tax cut and they're going to be some investment boom, that, that, that's basically pure fantasy. So, I mean, uh, one part of the argument, I think, is probably the whole point about uh, growth. But I think another part of the argument, <clears throat> which we haven't touched yet on, is uh, that he's going to reduce, um, uh, well, increase, sorry, the, the deductions um, for uh, many of the people, doubling the individual deduction. How big an impact would that have? I mean, and is there any way that that could uh, add up to $4,000 in some way? Not unless you do your arithmetic really badly. I mean, he's proposing to double the standard deduction. So it's currently roughly 6,300, and he wants to double it to 12,600. So, so that means if you're a single individual and say you had income of 30,000, um, currently the first 5,600 or uh, 6,300 is not, not taxed, then it'll be 12,600. So that sounds like a good deal. But offsetting that is he wants to get rid of the personal exemption. That's roughly 4,600 a person. And that rises in step with inflation, whereas a standard deduction does not. So that ends up to being a very, very little difference. He also wants to raise the bottom tax bracket from 10% to 12%. So there's parts of it we still haven't seen. And they're, they're criticizing people for trying to analyze it when they haven't seen everything. But th this is what we have on the table. And most of it looks like it's going to be pretty much a wash, um, which isn't to say, you know, someone earning 30, 40,000 might not see a small reduction in their taxes. But we're almost certainly talking hundreds, not thousands. Um, like, so people. And that'll be done that, that really is okay. a fantasy. Next week toward the beginning. OK, well, we'll uh, definitely come back to it once we get more details about this tax plan. I was speaking with Dean Baker, the co-director of CEPR. Thanks, Dean, for having joined us again. Thanks a lot for having me. And I'm Greg Wilpert for The Real News Network.